Okay, this is quite an embarrassing video to make, but it's a video that I have to make. As a camera reviewer and also content creator, I always try to make sure my contents are as accurate as possible. So I always make sure I double check, triple check everything that I want to talk about in my video and make sure I actually test the product before I talk about something. But recently, I made a video about the ProRes RAW uh, firmware update for the S1 Edge. And one of the things I mentioned in that video is that the ProRes RAW video from the S1 Edge or maybe even just ProRes RAW video in general, I said you cannot adjust the white balance freely just like um, the normal photo raw file. When I did that video, I tested in both Final Cut and Adobe Premiere Pro and I found that I cannot do that when I try to change the color tint. It doesn't have the white balance for me to adjust. I couldn't match two different video clips that was shot at different white balance. So I made the conclusion that uh, yeah, ProRes raw file, you cannot change the white balance freely. Now, turns out I was wrong because uh, as some of you actually have pointed out in my comment section, it seems to be really depends on the software rather than the ProRes RAW format itself or the ProRes RAW video generated by the S1 Edge because Apple has just released a new uh, version of the Final Cut video editing software. And with this latest version, now you can actually finally adjust the white balance of the ProRes RAW video as you would have expected you should be able to do just like a photo RAW file and I have tested with the RAW video footage that I shot for the S1H video and yes I can edit and adjust the white balance and these two videos were shot with the extreme opposite end of the white balance settings and I can change it so that they can match and have exactly identical output. So yes, I was completely wrong about that before and I want to apologize that I spread some wrong information to you guys. ProRes RAW video, you can change the balance in post processing just like a photo RAW file. So yeah, once again, sorry about telling you guys something that is not correct. So yeah, go check out the latest version of the Final Cut. Uh, I think Adobe hasn't updated the software to allow the white balance adjustment yet, but hopefully soon they will also update the software so that you can also change your white balance even if you are using the Adobe Premiere Pro to edit your video. So thanks for watching this video and sorry about the wrong information. So hopefully, now you get the truth about the ProRes RAW video format.